everyone welcome back today is a good day because we are going to play with a sensible wig and by sensible i mean a wig that doesn't require glue or gel this baby hair wig is sponsored by her given hair and i had my doubts at first it is a 13 by 1 inch t-part wig with bleached knots and combs on each side go to the back there's a comb there too there are adjustable straps and an elastic band for added security this hairline doesn't match which is okay because my natural hairline doesn't match either but i was stunned when i saw it and i was trying to figure out all the ways that this would work because my hairline is so thick on this wig not my real hairline in real life so i cut this swiss transparent lace while thinking about my next move because it's bath time and i'm going to wash in a downward motion to avoid tangles i'm also squeezing for fun the black runoff in the sink is dye from the wig cap and i feel like the wig didn't lather enough to make me satisfied so i'm washing it again I want it to be squeaky clean on the first wash. Rinse it out and I'm using sample hair products by Is A 10. I did not know that their shampoo and conditioner were a 10 because they're really good. And I kind of wish I used them on my hair because the conditioner melted into my wig. It felt so nice that I didn't rinse it out. It's about to be a three-in-one conditioner, conditioner, moisturizer, detangler, all three. I might even make it a pre-poo treatment if I choose to buy it for myself because I'm kind of leaning that way. After all of that, I let the wig sit in the sink and drip for a while. And now I'm detangling the hair in medium-sized sections. This is the I Need to Vent brush by Framar. It works quickly and I like that. Here is the hair that I lost and here is the dry wig. I allowed her to air dry overnight, so let's try her on. Okay, the part. Let's fix that with powder first. The baby hairs are less dense than the rest of the wig, which is good, but they're still so thick. So I'm going to start by using my got to be glued gel to apply the wig while I think about where I'm going with this. And this would be perfect if the whole wig was the same texture, but I'm going to make this work because I like where this is going. Look at that lace. I'm parting the baby hairs so that I can trim the front and create a gradient. I want different lengths so that I don't have a concentrated tuft of hair on the edges. I cut the front short just like my own hair is. And here I am attempting to do baby hairs with got to be glued. I don't know why I torture myself, but I'm optimistic. The kinks are hard to slick down, but that's okay because you can't tell the difference between the lace up top and my sideburn at the bottom. Yeah, leaving a small amount of hair out was a smart move for sure. Let me let this hair down. It is the perfect length for those of us who tend to overheat and the density is excellent. It isn't too thick. One side wasn't as defined as the other, so I sprayed it with water and I used my Spoolies Beach Wave and Curls Leave-In Conditioner to define it. My hair loves this. And I'm going to just redefine the front and the sides and then let my hair dry. The back is fine. I'm not touching that.
I'm going to fluff it a bit to complete the look, but I'm also going to show you the glueless option. So keep watching, we're not done here. Here I am, later on, the hair looks fine and all I did was slap it on, very nice. It looks good even though I can see the difference between the textures, but that difference kept bothering me so I had to do something about it. We are on the third try and I decided to do a density reduction. This is why it's important to experiment with your hair. All of the kinky hair got plucked. I mean, we are looking like a chicken here. And I also cut the tab in the front back a little bit. The hairline curves forward, so I have the room to do that. I wanted fewer kinky hairs in the front so that you couldn't really tell the difference between the textures, but the sides looked perfect. Let's put her on and look at this. I have some hair out near the sideburns to blend, but most of what you see is lace and it looks real without glue or gel. Her given hair gets high marks because I am here for a proper glueless wig. Let me know what you think. I will talk to you soon and good job, her given hair, good job. <laughs> 